We turn to a developing story now. Once again, the city of Green Bay finds itself under election scrutiny. And some recent history here in 2020, the city accepted grant money from a nonprofit group tied to Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg to conduct the city's election. Then the city most recently came under fire after absentee ballots were counted hours before the city's posted time for counting them during a primary election back in February. The city's attorney blamed the mistake on a typo. Now a complaint has been filed in regard to how the city handled absentee ballots in the spring election, which happened earlier this month. NBC26's Noelle Friel reports. In an election complaint filed with the Wisconsin Elections Commission, three election observers claim they saw Green Bay City Clerk Celestine Jeffries accept multiple absentee ballots from one voter. And they saw this many times and they objected and Celestine Jeffries articulated to them that she had the discretion to do that and that she you know, wouldn't honor their objections. Whether or not that is illegal is up for debate and goes back to a previous election controversy. Earlier this year, a Waukesha County judge ruled unstaffed ballot drop boxes are no longer allowed under state law. So while previously a clerk may have had the discretion to accept multiple absentee ballots from one person, that case could change that. For many years prior to this particular cycle, your spouse can bring your ballot to the mailbox or bring it to the clerk's office to save you the trip. Proponents of the Teagan lawsuit would have you believe that absent a statutory authorization or special permission that way, nobody other than the voter can bring in a ballot to a clerk's office. Eric Cardall, the attorney who filed the complaint, argued there should be uniform guidance among city clerks. It's really here the credibility of the uh, interpretation by some election officials that absentee ballot harvesting is not illegal in Wisconsin. Jeffrey said the city is aware of the complaint and said in a statement, quote, the city is committed to providing fair and lawful elections for all Green Bay voters and support city staff who administered the election on April 5th. Green Bay Mayor Eric Genrick had this to say. It's just part and parcel of a concerted disinformation campaign to erode the legitimacy of our elections, and I think it's really unfortunate. The city clerk will have 10 business days to provide a sworn written response to the complaint. From there, the complainant will have 10 more days to file a reply before the WEC issues a decision. In Green Bay, Noelle Friel, NBC 26.